a couple days after I put together the deal to get Bill's Can-Am winning uh, Pro Stock engine, I heard from Carl Hammer who said, hey, I might know where that transmission is. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, the shifter's hanging on the wall up at S&K in Lindenhurst. I said, what's it doing there? And he's like, well, you know, he used to work on Zool stuff, so I imagine, you know, when he switched over to the Lenko, stuff just got left behind. So I gave Brian Higgins a call up at S&K. Sure enough, this shifter, Bill's old three-speed, was hanging on the wall. And he said, yeah, this is the last one. Um, it was one of the ones given to Zool, so it's either from eight or nine. You know, I'm sure Bill had more than one. I said, hey, would you mind selling it? And he said, you know how many times people have asked to buy that shifter over the years? He said, no, nah, I'm not really, I'm not really sure I want to do that yet. It's like, okay, well, let me know, keep me in mind. And then along came his 80th birthday a couple weeks later. He gave me a call. We touched bases again. He said, you know, it sounds like you're doing something pretty special with it. I don't think I'm ever going to do anything with it now at 80 years old. So why don't I put together one of his old brute force transmissions with the high nickel gear set and the pro shifted gears. And we put together a deal. And here it is. Just arrived a little while ago. There's Bill's old nasty DNA and missing chrome and it's pretty sharp so I don't know if I'm going to give you use that shifter actually Brian gave me another one so there's the reverse handle pretty simple operation you pull back that's reverse push forward right so the three speed these three speeds are known for the way they come across the gate between what would normally be the one two shift let's pull the pin out of it <clears throat> Pretty cool, man. Pretty simple way of doing it. So let's give it a try. Let's see if we can get it in first. Well, it's on the floor here. Okay, that's first. Pull it into second. Pretty cool. Now the 2-3, well, what is converted to the 2-3 is supposed to be the pretty cool one because it's supposed to kind of click or slap across the gate. So let's listen for that. Now that's pretty nice. And then Bill was telling Brian, there we go, fourth, so four, neutral. So Brian was saying that he was sitting in the pits next to Bill, um, one, of the, one of the races. Actually, I think it was in the staging lanes. And Bill told him, uh, you'll never miss a shift with that shift lever right there, that shift handle right there. So he never forgot that. And uh, that's it. Anyways, so it's on its way into GTA. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. We're going to made it up to its old Can-Am engine. It'll be pretty cool, man. Stay tuned. Car's on its way to Willie Rells to be, um, to be looked at and gone through. And Roger Lamb has all the front end and rear links and everything. So all that stuff's going to be taken care of by those two old pioneers. And uh, man, it's really looking, it's looking like it's getting there.